Adobe has recently dropped their new updated version of Premiere, which apparently fixes all of the bugs you guys complain about. The same bugs that I never really experienced until I made this video where I was essentially crucified for saying DaVinci Resolve sucks and you should stay using Premiere. So after about a week of that video being up, Premiere actually started crashing on me. Not just a couple of times, it crashed on me a handful of times while I was working on different projects. And not just Premiere as a matter of fact, also After Effects, Photoshop, and Acrobat. Every Adobe product I have has started bugging out. But crazy thing is, that's not even why I may be switching to DaVinci. The real reason is a lot more complex than that. Due to all of the wackiness I was experiencing, I ended up giving DaVinci a second look, and I found a handful of things that I now believe make DaVinci better than Premiere. I said it. Which I know is crazy because I gave all these reasons in my last video on why you should stay using Premiere. I just didn't know about some of these features until this last trial run. In this video, I'm going to tell you the four things that have kind of catapulted me into my decision of switching to DaVinci and ultimately should make you consider it as well. And not only is the number one reason going to surprise you, but I'm also going to tell you my very unorthodox plan on switching from Adobe, which is going to stir up something completely new for you guys. So number four is a sort of low hanging fruit reason. So we're going to get it out of the way. And that is, of course, the price. Everyone knows DaVinci, you pay one time. If that, because you technically can use the free version. And that's it. Opposed to Adobe, you're paying a monthly fee. And if you're like me and you need the entire suite, then that means you're paying $720 a year. Now, Henley, why does price matter if it hasn't mattered in the last 10 years? Well, because it was working. I don't mind paying for convenience. I will choose convenience over cheap every time. But now that I'm actually having issues with the program, that price is kind of bothering me. It's like getting a new car note and a high car insurance and then having trouble with the car and needing to pay for repairs. When your friend Jimmy, why is your friend always Jimmy? What's your Jimmy's name again? When your friend Jimmy bought a $2,500 vehicle for someone and it runs just fine and isn't giving them any issues. So yeah, that's bullshit. But let's move on because it gets better. The number three reason I am switching to DaVinci is it has what I'm going to call common sense features. Little things that aren't a must, but make so much sense to me. Some of which I'm noticing Adobe is trying to integrate recently, but a little too late, Premiere. So I'm gonna quick fire some of these awesome features I discovered and love. One, when you're going through a clip on the timeline and you click ahead, it continues playing the clip after you click. With Premiere, if I did this, it would stop and I would have to hit the space bar every time to start it back playing. And that's something that's always slowed me down. Now that may seem like something small, but the way DaVinci handles it just makes more sense to me. Just feels better to me. Another one is having certain adjustments available for every clip at the click of a button. What do I mean? Working on music videos, I'm always adjusting speed of clips and I'm always stabilizing clips. So when I saw in DaVinci that both of those can be accessed on the clip and I don't have to drag it on every individual clip, that was just a no brainer to me. Another one, the fact that I can just hover over something and see what it looks like before committing to it and then having to hit Command Z if it doesn't give me the look that I thought. So hovering over titles or effects. Just for example, if I have a clip on top of a clip and I want to do a double exposure type of effect, I can hover over the composite modes and it shows me what it looks like without me having to click it. Unlike in Premiere, I have to actually select it. And then if it doesn't give the look I'm wanting, go back. These are just a few things, but there are several more. Overall, it's simple things that make sense that once I'm accustomed to editing in DaVinci, I'll actually be twice as fast in it as I ever was in Premiere, thanks to their convenient features. Now time for the big two. The last two features are not only the biggest reasons that I'm switching, but are also reasons I think you should consider switching if you haven't switched from Premiere. But before I tell you what those things are, if you're enjoying this content, please hit that subscribe button so I can keep making content like this, as well as hit that notification bell so you can be the first to know when I drop a new video. And a thousand subscribers, I gave away a thousand dollars worth of giveaways, and I plan on going even bigger when we hit 3,000 subscribers. All right, back to the second reason. If you follow this channel, you know that I am a collaborative style director. Well, as of lately, I'm becoming more that way when it comes to editing. I know my strengths, I know my weaknesses, and I know my friends' strengths. And one of the areas my friends are stronger than me at in post is color grading. 
And just what program do you think 99% of them are coloring in? What I'm getting at here is having a convenient collaborative workflow. Since I've been editing in Premiere but doing my own color, it hasn't been an issue, but I'm now beginning to hire colorists. And the process of converting a Premiere project file to DaVinci and then back is very tedious. And if you make a mistake, it just costs you a lot of time and can become very confusing. Whereas if I was in DaVinci, this wouldn't be an issue as most of my friends have already integrated over and majority colorists in general are coloring in DaVinci. Even a VFX artist I'm currently working on a project with is doing all of the special effects in Fusion opposed to Adobe's After Effects. So it seems like a no brainer to me, especially after I tell you this biggest reason. I think we all should highly consider switching over to DaVinci or away from Adobe. Adobe is untrustworthy. Not a lot of people know this, but in June of this year, Adobe was sued for allegedly violating consumer protection laws. What does this mean? What this means is Adobe was accused of hiding early termination fees in the fine print of its annual paid monthly subscription plan, which when you do the math, is hundreds of dollars for an individual. It has been said that Adobe didn't clearly disclose that the subscription is for a year. And this is the one that really got me nervous because I'm going to have to go through this part that the government claimed that Adobe is making it difficult for people to cancel their subscriptions. <sighs> now, if you guys didn't know, that is a huge pet peeve of mine. I don't like when I go on a site to cancel or downgrade my subscription, and it's hecka difficult to find how and where to cancel. I've recently found another company that does this exact same thing, Artlist. Now, I didn't want to cancel my Artlist subscription. I just needed to downgrade from the Max account. So I go in to do this and find out I have to send an email to their team. That's ridiculous, Artlist. That's ridiculous, Adobe. When we sign up, we don't have to speak with the representative. So when we want to cancel, we shouldn't have to go through a million loops and hurdles to do so. Adobe, you're already charging us a lot of money. So to make it hard to back out is unacceptable to me. Not only that, but over the course of the last two years, many people have been leaving Adobe. Now you have this lawsuit. I smell what could be the beginning of the end for Adobe, at least Premiere. It's already the end for me, which brings me to the unorthodox method that I mentioned to you earlier. As some of you know, I now own the Pixis and I've owned Blackmagic cameras for years now. I've been gradually trying to learn DaVinci, but because I'm still in Premiere, I have something to compare it to, thus it's holding me back from fully learning it. All I'm doing is comparing it back and forth, what it isn't doing, blah, blah, blah. So this month is my last month of Adobe. I will not be waiting until I get the hang of DaVinci before switching, but will in fact just quit cold turkey and dive head first into DaVinci. Now, this is going to slow my workflow down. I know doing it this way is probably gonna to be tough, and it's probably gonna be very frustrating at times, but I honestly think that this is the best way for me to do it. I don't know, maybe you guys will disagree with me there. You let me know what you think in the comments. And after you do that, click on this video because there's another topic we really need to discuss.